so you could actually put a sensor right here up on the electrical panel door so if, you know if that ever got open and you know the kids were down here or something and all of a sudden that sensor goes off Welcome back everyone. Happy holidays. Sorry it's been so long for a video. It's been pretty hectic here, obviously with the holidays coming up. I have, I want to welcome all our new subscribers. I picked up quite a few in the last uh, month or so. And I want to know before I get started here today, what you guys want to see. I want to see if you want to see more home automation stuff. You want to see some building projects. Do you want to see stuff around the house? Uh, I was going to do some fixing, some caulking and stuff coming up. If you'd rather see that stuff, leave a comment below because I want to know what you'd rather see, what you guys are more interested in because I don't know what you guys like the most on the channel. Obviously, I like to do everything uh, and I lean towards more things more than others. So you, you tell me what you want and I will make it happen. I did get a request for the secret door, so I'm going to do a little detailed video on that. And I have a couple other things in the works. Um, for today's video, I received these a couple weeks ago. Uh, if you watch my videos, you know I have the Wise Cams, which I'm very, uh, I love those things. And Wise came out with these a little while back, and I've been meaning to try them. So it's a motion sensor kit um, with a couple door sensors, and then I got an extra pack of door sensors. As you can see, they're, they're pretty small. There's four door sensors in this little tiny box. And I want to give you a couple ideas, because these come in handy, number one, the system connects to your camera so the camera actually does all the controlling it's not all Wi-Fi so the only thing that needs Wi-Fi is your camera itself and then the camera controls all of the sensors here and then what happens is these sensors can actually control your camera or other things such as lights and stuff like that because they are sensors um, so I'll give you a couple ideas because these can come in handy and I have a couple ideas of what I want to use them for and I'm going to show you that there's an endless amount of opportunity for these sensors because they're so small and they just stick on you know with double-sided tape and so I'm going to use them I want to put some sensors on my fridge my beer fridge which is in the garage I have a fridge down here that has uh, alcohol in it so I want to put a sensor on there but you could use it on anything you could use it on doors any doors interior exterior doors uh, cabinets in the kitchen uh, you, there's so many different options you could use it on. I mean, you could put it on your dishwasher if you want to know when your dishwasher is opening or closing or your washer or dryer. So there's a lot of options here what you can use these for which makes it a neat little thing. And these right now, each pack of these is $20 a piece. So you get the kit here with a motion sensor, two sensors, two door sensors and the controller. And then this is just a pack of door sensors if you want to add them on. So $20 a piece for each of these. The cameras are $20 to $25 a piece. So really for less than $50, you can have a camera and a controller for a motion sensor and two, you know, two sensors for doors. So that's kind of neat and obviously way reasonable for price. So let me show you uh, what I'm going to do with these and why don't we open these up. Let me see and I'll show you what's inside of these packages. So that's the little piece that goes in the back of the camera that actually controls everything. And here's the motion sensor. You can see how big it is. I mean, it's two fingers, so it's pretty small. And then these are the sensors. Let's see if I can slide one out here. So you can see. They're pretty small. So that's where it comes in handy. I mean, you can see they're pretty, they're pretty skinny too. So all you got to do is stick those on and then you can, they're pretty discreet because they're white. I mean most of us have white stuff so that will hide pretty good. So, that, so that's what comes in the box. Now I'll show you how we hook this all up. Alright so I got my shop camera. So I'll show you how easy this is. So you take this, you can see the USB on the back of the camera. Plug it in. You'll see there's a status light on here. It's yellow. Now it's flashing blue, which means it's connecting. And then once it's connected, it should go solid blue. You can see how it fits real nice right in the back of here. I mean, it's almost flush. And then they have a little tab to pull it out with, which is kind of nice. All right, 
so it's connected you can see it's blue so now you can see I got let's see if I got the camera view up here so now what we can do is take a sensor so the sensor is already active you can see when I separate it it blinks red so what you do is you go back to the home page of the Wise app you click these three dots you select add a product and you cl click the one you want so we'll do a contact sensor and then you gotta pick the camera which it'll pick whichever one is connected if there's more than one so I'll pick the shop camera is ready to be and then it'll tell you insert the included pin into the hole so what they have is they have an insert pin if you saw it in the back it's like a little reset so what you do is right in the side of here there's a little dot so I want you to hold it for a couple seconds and I can see the countdown on my phone here if you guys can see that there's a little countdown there it's counting down the seconds to connect there you go you can hear it for yourself so then it asks you to name the device so we'll just do shop door click OK and then finish and then you see shop door comes up on here so when you open it vibrated my phone and said open up here when you close it it says closed so just a couple second delay it looks like so that works for that so what we'll do is I'll show you I mean obviously you got a door right here you could pretty much put it anywhere so if you wanted to put a sensor on the door here you could put it up here you could put it in the corner and just it, they say it has to be within two centimeters of each other when it's closed so I mean that's that's about two centimeters right there so you don't have to be right up against it so you can just peel the stickers off and you can just mount it right up here on the door so as you can see it's pretty simple to set up you can use it for just about anything anything that opens and closes you could put a sensor on it uh, even for I was thinking for Christmas time like say this room which I keep this is where we're keeping presents right now stick one temporarily on that door so if something goes off this thing will notify your phone that somebody went in that closet that they're not supposed to be in that's a perfect little setup for anybody you want to keep out of anything so I'll go upstairs I'll show you a couple ideas I had for it so the first thing I wanted to use it for was this little fridge right here so my thought was I could stick it right down here at the bottom here and nobody would even see it perfect situation so what I'm going to do is I'm going to peel this off I'll stick that right there give it a good push obviously ideally you want to clean this first you know the fridge but in this case I'm just gonna go ahead and do this and then stick the other one right there so there you go now I got a little sensor on the door and we'll try it out so right now it says it's closed right there so if I open this there you go it just opened up and it just notified me on my that the door was opened at 1101 see right there now it's closed again so perfect I got a nice little discrete sensor down there so here's other a couple other uh, ideas in the basement now obviously mine's finished but in here is the sump pump room so if you wanted to keep them out of the sump pump you know sump pump room or even if you wanted you know you see you got a cover on the sump pump down there you can stick a sensor on the cover so god forbid the kids or something got in there or something now i keep these doors locked so i don't need to worry about that but that's another thing you could use it for or same with over here um, you got your electrical panel and everything so you could actually put a sensor right here up on the electrical panel door so if you know, if that ever got open and you know the kids were down here or something and all of a sudden that sensor goes off you know I also lock this one too so I don't have to worry about that but most houses yours is gonna be right there open so that's another way to make sure the kids aren't going in there you know as a safety mechanism so, you know the obvious choice is up here you got your fridge if you want to see if anybody's coming or going from the fridge so you got the kitchen area so you could do cabinets you know if you wanted to put a sensor on a cabinet lower cabinets obviously you know I got the child sensors on here but 
if you didn't have child sensors and let's say you had a cabinet that like here for instance you got medicines you could put one on there so you make sure people aren't going into the medicines I'm trying to think of what else there's cabinets over here you could do this cabinet right here which has all the china in it you could put one on there what else i mean there's lots of i mean it's endless things um, I mean, heck, you could probably do it on the toilet if you wanted. You could actually just stick a sensor on the toilet seat if you wanted to get crazy. I'm just saying. I mean, if you want to see if somebody's got the toilet seat up, there you go. Put a sensor on the toilet. So anyways, that's pretty much how these things work. You know, the motion sensor is the same thing. You just connect it just the way I showed you on the app, and then you can stick that all over the place, and it'll tell you if there's motion. Simple as that. So if you want to put it somewhere where you don't expect motion, so that if someone comes in that area, these probably, I don't know if they're lithium batteries or not, if it's cold outside it might not work, but if you have a covered area outside or in the garage or something, you could probably use it out there, I'm sure. I know they're mostly set up for interior use, but like the cameras are the same way. The cameras are interior use only, but I have them outside here in the, you know, in the winter. You can see if you want to see some beautiful weather for Buffalo, there it is. Beautiful buffalo weather. Got a nice light snow coming down. So yeah, the cameras, I got two of them outside and they're working great right now. And they are not technically weather outside cameras. So I got them plugged into a couple outlets out there and they work perfect. So if you're in the market, I'll leave their link down there. I'm not affiliated with them, but you know how much I love them. Like I said, the cameras I think are 20, 25 right now a piece. The sensor kit's $20, the extra sensors is $20. They also make light bulbs, I think those are on sale. You can get a four pack of them uh, for like 20 bucks. So if you want some light bulbs to connect to the system too. Same setup, it's a beautiful setup. You can use them on anything. Like I said, for that price, you're talking five bucks a piece for sensors. You can put them on all the windows and doors if you wanna feel safe in your house. You know, I mean, it works out perfectly. So anyways, I think the battery life they say is about a year. Uh, you'll have to get replacement batteries um, but other than that uh, thanks for watching if you want to see like I said at the beginning of the video whatever you want to see let me know if you want to see more stuff like this because I love the smart home stuff if you want to see more projects if you want to see whatever you just let me know what you're more interested in and I will try to put more videos out related to that all right subscribe to the channel please like this video if, if, if you like it even if you don't like it, hook me up. You know, that's what YouTube goes off of, so it keeps me going. And I will catch you in the next video. Take care.